Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature changing table and baskets. This is the match the crib that I made a few weeks ago. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, a comment, or subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. To make the shelves, I'm using a combination of jumbo popsicle sticks and super jumbo popsicle sticks. I line these up and cut them into three inch pieces and glue them together. I made three, but then I added on a fourth one because I wanted to make a slide out shelf. You can omit one of the shelves if you don't want to make a slide out, but if you do, then you can use a piece from a super jumbo popsicle stick and then glue on additional little scraps of popsicle sticks to fit in between. Sandwich those in between two of the boards and glue them in place. Make sure your slide out shelf can fit, but you want to sand that even thinner because when you add on paint or varnish, it's going to make it a little thicker than it is right now. Then I use a skinny stick or coffee stir stick and cut it off to fit the sides of the shelves. I made three of these to start with. Then I lined up matchsticks between two of them. And then for the third one, I lined up matchsticks along the bottom, but not along the top. Then glue your bottom shelf in place and your top shelf in place. Then I used a combination of skinny sticks and fragments of popsicle sticks to build up along the sides, making sure that the space between where the drawer goes will stay open. Then add on the other side of the shelf. You can see where it's starting to really take shape and you can see how polished that side looks now. Add in the middle shelf and glue that in place. And now let's finish cleaning it up. Cut additional pieces to fit the sides of your shelf and glue those on. And then more stir sticks along the front. Then glue on more sticks across the front. Turn it around and repeat the same process on the other side. It's a rather plain shelf, but just to embellish it a little bit more, I added coffee stir sticks across the top and that gives it a beveled look. Then I cut a quarter inch dowel into quarter inch pieces and glued those little squares across the bottom. And essentially you're finished with this now. So I'm painting it brown. And because I want this to match the crib that I made a few weeks ago, I'm going to go in ahead and give it that um, espresso finish that I like so much. That means adding on some watered down black paint and streaking it across. Then I used a piece of foam and cut off two additional strips to go on either side. I used my scissors and tried to cut this into a diagonal, but I didn't succeed and you can barely notice. Then although I don't show the step, I'm using a piece of vinyl tablecloth, the type that you get for a dollar in any store. And I glued this across the top and tucked it under on the bottom. For the baskets, I'm using a small piece of cardboard. And smearing that with a little bit of glue. And then I use this ribbon that I actually found in Walmart. If you cannot find this ribbon, of course, any piece of burlap or any other sort of fabric like this will work. 
and then I cut off the excess, glued it under, and rolled it into a cylinder. To make a bottom, I simply trace the bottom of it onto another little piece of cardboard and glue that in place onto another piece of fabric. Cut off the excess and glue it underneath. Finally, glue that in place at the bottom of your hamper. Then, to create the illusion of a liner, and because I didn't feel like sewing, I basically folded over a piece of fabric and ironed it in place, and then just glued it into the basket. Fold the sides over the outside, and glue those in place as well. You can repeat the very same steps to make a square basket. And that's it. You're done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.